and that is just what it's all about. It's about referrals and, and um, you know, not non-malicious intent, okay? So just keep that in mind. Or maybe you just have no idea. I just want to write. Go ahead. Do it. Because it'll turn into one of the top three eventually. Hopefully the second or third one, not the first one. The straight to commercial blogs are a dime a dozen. We've all seen them. They have a few articles on them saying how great a product is, how it changed my life, and here's here's the BS proof. I don't know you like the you know you don't know the person who's writing it. They're just telling you to trust them like like they were your brother. It doesn't work, okay? It works very rarely. All right, that's about it. That's all I got to say about that one. Let's move on. Planning for the future. Your success roadmap. Now this is important. This is huge. A success roadmap is what I call uh, a step-by-step -step kind of, um, you know, uh, on paper or on the computer. I make a little step-by-step -step numbered or whatever, alpha, whatever the heck you want to do it. It's just numbers one, two, three, four of the next steps to take um, for your success, for future of your success. So if step one is watch Jeff Gross's course, step two may be get my first blog built, step three is build a second blog, step four make my own product, whatever. Your roadmap um, can have main points and sub points. So the main points can be the major milestones you want to reach. But never just add major milestones because there are many milestones within those major milestones. So if my first goal is uh, build a blog, goal number one of my roadmap for the planning of my success is building a blog, there are about 10 sub-steps. Learn how to build a blog, um, create a WordPress account, uh, make my first blog, make five posts a day for three weeks. You know, there's, There is a very in-depth thing you can do. And I recommend doing this success roadmap and, or you're just your planning roadmap. Whatever you want to call it, I suggest you do it. It's very important. Okay, so let's um, let's just kind of move on a little bit, then I'll go over what I a sample one that I can do. Where does this blog fit into your roadmap? Where does this current blog, the thing that you're doing right now, watching my video, where does this fit into your success roadmap? Do you have a roadmap? Maybe you do in your head, maybe you have it on paper, that'd be great. If you don't, make one. A couple of steps with, with potential timelines if you want. In a month, I want to have two blogs, both of which I'm posting two, three times a day. That's a cool goal, you know, that could be on your roadmap. I want to make $3,000 a month online in the next six months. I want to make $3,000 every month consistently. That's a, good, that's a good thing on your roadmap. How are you going to get there? That's what comes before that goal. Will this be your primary online presence? Will this blog be your primary online presence? Yes or no? No, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. What I do know is that whether it is or isn't, you still need to put your time into it and make it legitimate, okay? Uh, the, the the truth is, people again. They people know if you're if you're there to BS them or help them. So just be real. And if it's your primary online presence, if it is your own, if it, it is this is the blog that you're gonna really think that's gonna take you all the way, then you better really go back and look over those last slides because then you know that you have to follow those rules to the T to be really genuine and helpful. Uh, th now the truth is, when you dedicate yourself to a blog you take the time to write in it. If you're dedicated and you take the time to write, it'll show. It'll show that you've posted twice a day. And you've posted at least once a day and you really care to maintain it. We've all seen it, sites that have not been updated for seven years. And we just, I just leave. I, I'm like, this, you know, this is not current. I'm out of here. You know? And the same is true for blogging. You know, that's the truth. That is what it's all about. So dedicate yourself, take some time to write. And, and this all leads to the last step here is making connections. It's a powerful blogging perk. When you make connections when you blog, other people with genuine, actual, similar interests will come to your blog. And they want to read about what you're writing about. And the cool part is about that is that they may very well share ideas with you, share concepts with you, maybe even do a joint venture or, um, or just a little partnership. You never know. Um, I have partners online now that I met through blogging. And then, you know what? I would never have met them otherwise, ever. It, it, literally, I'd have to never, I would never have met them. And it all, all because I gave them content that they liked, gave them interesting information, and they're like, man, you know what? I have some ideas too. Let's just, let's just, let's do a phone call. Let's do a, a webinar and let's just talk about it. And let's see if we can't get ourselves something going here. And that all happens thanks to blogging. So a success roadmap, uh, let's make a quick little one here that I'll show you guys real quick. 
Make it real fast. Um, my success roadmap. Um, let's just take a sample one. Uh, one, uh, learn internet marketing. Let's just say I'm, I'm starting from scratch. Marketing. And the sub steps would be, um, uh, let's see, uh, making, let's see, making websites or let's see, word, like WordPress. I got to learn that. And then once I do that, I would put like a done here. Uh, B, um, create you know, some uh, graphic design training, whatever. You know, and, and these are all things that I feel I'd have to do if I was doing it all myself. And then uh, my next success thing, I'm just making this up, by the way. Learn internet marketing. And the next one could be um, launch launch a product on bird training, whatever. And in order to do this, I need to A, uh, get a camcorder, whatever. I got to record my birds. Uh, get, hold on, get a camcorder. Sorry. Uh, to be um, right right step-by-step -step instructions, act them out. You, know, you see what I'm saying? Um, and all this stuff, and this is just really, and you know, step step seven could be um, earn, uh, my, you know, earn earn money, earn three thousand dollars per month, uh, per month, you know, and, and this and all this stuff led up to this, all this stuff here, uh, numbers three, four, five, six, and seven, and you can also put um, uh, deadlines like deadline, uh, let's see, January two thousand ten. I want to learn. I want to learn internet marketing, uh, the basics, of course. You know, like just to get it under my, my belt. Uh, let's see what else. You see, what I'm saying this is really not a thorough one. This isn't good, but you can do this in any, in any other program, Excel, Word, whatever. The point is, you see, what I'm saying you want to get here. Well, not three dollars per month, but three three thousand dollars per month. Uh, you want to get here. How will you do it, and likely the stuff you're gonna do is up here. Okay, see that? That's arrows pointing up. <laughs> Kind of, and that's what's up here. And if you if you earn three thousand dollars a month by deadline, deadline is June two thousand ten. Uh, what am I gonna do in these next seven months? Now I gotta get to work. So make a list, get it done, have a plan, have a roadmap. Uh, and this can include other stuff. Okay, not just about money. This is goes beyond money. Um, three spend. I mean, uh, you know what? You can do family stuff in here, uh, personal stuff, whatever. Your success roadmap is more than money. Okay, I'll go over that later. But this is just a sample. I, I'll show you guys a real one eventually, but this is a sample one. So let's move back to the slideshow. Okay, now, uh, we've already showed you the roadmap, a sample one, and uh, here's the next slide. Set some goals, guys. Be specific. Quantitative goals are best. Example. I would like to see 100 unique visitors per day on my blog within two months. That's a good goal because that is something you can actually quantitatively measure. If you just say, I want a lot of visitors in my blog at some point in time, who's that going to help? Nobody because you'll never know if you met it. Okay? Uh, here's another one. Example, I would like no less than 100 sub subscribers to my blog by the end of January 2010. There's a goal of mine. I want, I want to have subscribers. So I have um, two months to do it. Can I do it? Absolutely I can. Why? Because I have a quantitative goal. And it's all about that. If I said, uh, I'll take some subscribers by sometime in 2010. Nope, that's not going to work. Because you're not really going to accomplish anything in your mind. Your mind will still be saying, you still haven't completed me yet, this goal. You haven't completed it yet. Uh, you know, so get to, get to, you know, get to work. Get, you know, because you, you, you never met your goal. Uh, last example, I'll make no less than three posts per day in this blog for a minimum of six months. Certainly beats saying, I will post in this blog as much as I can for a few months. See what I'm saying? This is a very short slide, but when I set goals in life ever, it, about anything, they're quantitative, they have numbers in them, they have uh, exact figures and timelines, because this keeps me on point, keeps me going. I'm going to meet this goal because I know i got to do it by September or June or some January, whatever. All right, so let's move on. Decision time. I'm going to make this decision pretty much easy for you guys. Most of you will 